Ninjas. What's cracking? Movie. Skippers. What's up, movie skippers? Welcome to Movie Recaps Daily. Today, I'm going to explain Gone in 60 Seconds. It's a high action heist thriller that's got a lot of crazy sequences. The film starts outside a Porsche dealership on a Sunday night. A car thief named Kip is about to boost a brand new 911 from the dealership. He's a little reckless with his methods and even uses a brick to break the shop's window. Then he takes the keys for the car from the key box and leaves with the car. His rather immature looking crew is waiting at an old warehouse where a lot of cars are already stashed. Kip is driving carelessly and ends up putting many cops on his tail. They chase him to the warehouse and Kip has to leave all the cars behind and run. Detective Roland arrives at the warehouse and realizes that it was the work of some professional crew. He orders his partner Drykov to impound all the cars. The next day, a guy named Memphis is teaching kids how to race at a go-kart track. Memphis used to be a legendary car thief who had retired some years ago. He is visited by an old acquaintance named Atlee. Atlee tells Memphis that his little brother Kip is in trouble. Kip took a job from a local mobster named Calatry to deliver 50 cars, but he failed. Atlee explains how a mobster is a dangerous man and he will kill Kip if the order was not completed. As Memphis decides to go talk to Calatry, Kip is caught by Calatry's men. Memphis arrives at Calatry's scrapyard and tries to negotiate his brother's release. Calatry tells Memphis that he will have to deliver 50 cars in four days, or his entire family will be killed. Memphis has left the life of crime behind and he's hesitant to take the job. But when Calatry gives the order to crush Kip in a car crusher, Memphis agrees to take the job. Memphis takes Kip home and figures out that Kip is not doing well. He decides to visit his mother who works as a waitress at the local diner. Memphis explains everything to his mother and she tells him to do anything he can to save his little brother's life. As Memphis is leaving the diner, Detective Roland and his partner Drykov stop Memphis. They tell him that if Memphis did anything illegal, they'll put him behind bars for the rest of his life. That evening, Memphis goes to his mentor Otto's workshop. He explains the whole situation to Otto and asks for his help. Otto has made a good honest life for himself and he doesn't want to lose it. However, he still wants to help Memphis, so he agrees to do the job. Memphis and Otto spend the next day gathering his team. Most of the guys they call are either dead or in jail. He asks a fed up driving instructor Donnie to join his team and Donnie agrees. He also asks Sphinx to join. Sphinx is a mortician who can't speak. Finally, he goes to talk to Sarah who is a mechanic slash bartender. Sarah doesn't want to get caught up in crime anymore so she refuses Memphis who's trying to convince her at the bar where she works. He tells her how he has only a couple of days left to deliver 50 cars to Calatry, but she still won't do it. Memphis leaves the bar disappointed when an old rival gang jumps him. They want him to leave the town or they will kill him. Right when Sphinx shows up and beats the hell out of the gang members and saves Memphis's life. That night, Memphis and Kip are having drinks when Memphis looks at a picture of his late father who was a car salesman. He thinks if his father was still alive, both the brothers would have been working at some dealership. Kip explains how he has his own crew and he can't live a normal life anymore. Then Memphis explains how he felt happy each time he stole a car, but when his friends started getting killed, he decided to stop. He hopes that Kip will leave the criminal life behind as well. The next morning, Memphis and his crew are looking at the list of cars that he has to deliver to Calatry when Kip drops by with his crew. Kip and his crew want to help, but Memphis wants to keep Kip out of it. The brothers start arguing, but Otto convinces Memphis to let them join because they need more men for the job. Kip has an inexperienced but talented crew with Mirror Man acting as the technical expert, Tumblr who's a great driver, Toby who can hack into any database, and Freb who's just their errand boy. While they're discussing this, Roland finds out that a guy named James supplied Kip with special keys and they needed to steal a new Mercedes. They talk to James who promises to tell them if anyone asks for the special keys again. Meanwhile, Memphis has a plan to steal all the cars in one night. They start getting the locations of the target vehicles by hacking databases and using old school stakeouts. Memphis even finds out the location of the extremely rare Ferrari 275 GTB. 
When Memphis and Atlee are discussing the delivery location of the cars, Sarah comes there and joins his crew. Meanwhile, Tumblr goes to pick up the special keys from James, who puts the detective on Tumblr's tail. Tumblr takes the detectives to their new headquarters, and the detectives decide to ambush Memphis when he comes to steal the Mercedes. At the end of that day, Memphis finally goes to see the 1965 GR500 that he calls Eleanor. It's the one car he's never been able to steal because something goes wrong every time. That night, as Kip and Memphis are going home, the rival gang stops them in the middle of the road and starts shooting at their car. The brothers somehow make it out of there alive and hide in a restaurant near a cop car. Then they cause a scene with the gang's car, which attracts the attention of the cops in the area. The cops arrest the gang members for illegal weapons. The next morning, Fred brings one of the targeted cars to the headquarters. He tells them that he stole the car from Chinatown. When they open the trunk, they find a huge stash of heroin in there. Just then, Roland decides to pay them a visit. They hide the heroin and distract Roland enough to not get caught. But Roland figures out that Memphis is going to steal some cars tonight. That night, Memphis and the rest of the gang start stealing the cars. They go to the Ferrari warehouse to steal the targeted Ferraris. They deliver every car to a designated spot on the docks after stealing it. Some cars are rather easy to steal, but for some cars, they have to improvise. For one car, Mirror Man becomes a valet and steals it right in front of the owner. While trying to steal an expensive Lamborghini, Sarah and Memphis start talking about how their relationship ended because Memphis left the crime world so suddenly. They even get a little intimate while waiting. Meanwhile, Roland and his teams are keeping their eyes on the three Mercedes. As soon as Memphis tries to steal one of the Mercedes, he spots a van that looks out of place. He quickly stops everyone and asks them to come back to the headquarters. Memphis figures out that the dealer who gave them the keys sold them out. They are almost ready to call the whole thing off when they remember that they still have keys for the Mercedes that they stole earlier. Those cars are in the police impound, and as a last-ditch effort, Memphis decides to steal them. But Otto's dog has swallowed those old keys, so they give some laxatives to the dog and walk it around to get the keys. Meanwhile, Roland and Drykov pick up some information from a former convict that Memphis is stealing cars for Calatree. He also figures out how to read the empty blackboard they found at the old crime scene. So he gets the list of cars that Memphis is targeting and he decides to put some of the rare cars, including the GT500, under surveillance. He knows Memphis and he believes that Memphis will go for the GT500 at the very end. On the other hand, Freb and Toby get the keys from the dog's poop. Then Sphinx, Sarah, and Memphis go to the impound to steal the Mercedes while Mirror Man distracts the guard. As the crew keeps bringing in more and more cars, Memphis finds out that they only need three more cars to finish the job. Sphinx and Mirror Man are trying to boost a rare Humvee when some cops try to stop them. To make things worse, there's a snake in the car, but Sphinx just rams through the cop car and gets the Humvee to the docks. During all of this, Kip is in a suburb where he is looking to steal an SUV, but as they try to leave with the car, things go sideways. A cop at a roadblock starts shooting at them and Toby gets shot. They somehow bring him to the docks, and then they take him to a doctor. The only car left now is the GT500. Memphis loves this car, but it has always given him problems, and he's never been able to boost it. He goes to the car with Sarah, and as soon as he starts driving, Roland and Drykov show up. Sarah buys Memphis some time, but Roland starts speeding after Memphis, and a chase ensues. Dozens of cops are after the GT500, and Memphis uses traffic and tight streets to get away. He almost crashes the car in a garbage truck, but survives. A chopper is on his tail, and he tries to hide in some neighborhood streets. That's when the car dies down, and Memphis almost gets caught. But the car starts up just in time for him to get away. While Memphis is trying to bring the car back to the docks, Atlee tells Kip that his brother left the crime world to make sure that Kip doesn't follow him. In the city, Memphis tears through shipyards to shake the cops from his tail, and even succeeds. He's on a bridge that goes straight to the docks when he has to stop at a roadblock. With the cops chasing him, Memphis decides to jump the car over the roadblock. He somehow gets to the docks, but he's told that the time's up. He goes to have a talk with Calatry, but that backfires and Calatry gives the order to kill him. Just as he's about to get shot, Kip and Atlee save his life. Memphis is angry and he goes to Calatry's office and beats him up. But Calatry pulls out a gun and Memphis has to run away. 
As Calatry is chasing Memphis, Roland arrives there. Calatry shoots at Roland's hands, and he is ready to kill Roland, but Memphis pushes Calatry over the fence. Calatry dies from the fall, and Roland lets Memphis go for saving his life. Memphis also tells Roland the location of the stolen cars. The film ends with all the gang having lunch at Otto's shop. Sphinx finally speaks, and people find out that he's British. Meanwhile, Kip gifts Memphis a worn-out GT500, and Memphis takes off in it with Sarah. That is the end of Gone in 60 Seconds. Congratulations, you are now a movie? Scared.